Hi, I'm Produce Pete, and today we're talking about herbs. That's right, herbs. Now, herbs have been around for thousands of years. In fact, years ago, herbs were thought more for medical purposes than they were for, you know, culinary. But what happens with herbs is they are absolutely terrific. Years ago, during the Roman Empire, they thought that herbs was valued more than gold. That's right. But we're lucky, because now we can come to Stu Leonard's and get herbs all the time. Because herbs are available year-round. In the springtime, the fall, and the summertime, you can get herbs that are grown outside, and then they bring them right to the store. In the wintertime, you can get herbs year-round, basically because they're grown in these big greenhouses. Herbs are absolutely great. They add to your, the aroma, and they add to the taste of everything that you want to make. One problem with herbs. Everybody says this, produce beet, you know, I love herbs, but you know, when I, they're too big, there's too much, too big in the, in the bundle. I'm going to tell you what you can do with herbs, real simple. What you can do is you can bring herbs home, and you have to remember that herbs are a flower, so you want to treat them like a flower. So if you have too much basil, say for instance, you can bring them home, clip them, stick them in a glass of water, stick them in a refrigerator. Now a lot of times we don't have all that room. So the idea is, another thing is that you can do with them, is to take them like this, and then you're going to take, it doesn't matter what the herb is, and you're going to take the, the, the leaves off, you're going to stick them in a Ziploc bag, just like this, stick them in a refrigerator, they're going to keep for a couple of days. My favorite is what my mother, God rest her soul, used to do. She used to take herbs, no matter what the herb was, she would chop them really, really fine. She would take the old uh, now, all of us now have ice makers, but there are some ice trays still out. You know those little cube trays? So she would chop them really fine, put them in those cube trays, put water in them, stick them in the freezer, and freeze them. Then she would take them out, put them in a plastic bag, because in mom's day they didn't have Ziploc bags, the cubes, she would mark on the outside what they were, tarragon, uh, basil, whatever they were. When she made her sauces, whether it be spaghetti sauce, uh, any kind of sauce, she would take the cube and throw it into the, into the sauce. And I'm telling you, because it's only a little cube and it's concentrated with the herb, it doesn't water down your, your, uh, you know, your sauces. And I'm telling you, it's absolutely terrific. Another way is to dry the herbs. Now, most of the times when you look for an herb, you want to look for an herb with the root on it. But in the stores, you're never going to find them with the, with the root on. So this is how you dry an herb. You want to take the herbs and you're going to, what you're going to do is you're going to pull them apart. You're going to take the leaves off the herbs. You're going to stick them on a flat tray and you're going to leave them about 86 degrees and dry them out that way. Now, a faster way is really simple. Not in the oven, but yes, in the microwave. You're going to get your microwave ready. You're going to put them on a tray with paper towels underneath. You're going to take these leaves and individually lay them down on a paper towel. Put them in the microwave on high for about one minute. Turn them over, put them back in for about one minute. I'm telling you, they're going to dry out. You can put them in a Ziploc bag, but I'm not crazy about Ziploc bags for dried herbs. So what I use is, you know, the pickle jars, the old mayonnaise jars, any kind of glass jar with a screw top. You're going to put them in there and then you're going to keep them. I'm so that's a good way of keeping these herbs. If you have too many herbs and you don't want to waste them, that's a great way of using them. So now we're going to talk about a couple of different herbs. The first one is basil. Now everybody knows what basil is because you can smell the basil and it's absolutely terrific. When buying basil, you want to make sure it's nice and green. You always want to look at the top of the basil here to make sure it didn't go to seed. Same thing holds true with basil. You're going to bring the basil home and if you have too much of it, you can pull the leaves off, stick it in a uh, plastic bag, or you can do what I said before, freeze it. Or what you can do is infuse some oil. Absolutely terrific. You can use basil. What you do is you take the basil, put it into pure olive oil. You're going to leave it in there three to four days. It will infuse itself, and then you can use it for cooking. You can use olive oil on your, uh, any kind of uh, you know, your salads or whatever you want to do. I'm telling you, it's absolutely terrific. Basil's good, too. Besides using basil in spaghetti sauces, take a piece of basil, throw it into a salad. It's unbelievably fresh. The next one we're talking about is cilantro. Now, cilantro, most of the time, you're going to see it with the roots on. Make sure you buy it with the roots on because it'll keep a lot longer. You want to look at the cilantro. The smaller leaf cilantro is more robust, more flavor in it. So you want to look for, you don't want that big, big leaf on it. 
just be one careful with cilantro. The most important thing with cilantro, it's very pungent. You don't want to use it a lot. Uh, it's good in Asian cooking, it's good in Mexican cooking, I'm telling you, it's absolutely terrific. The next one we're going to talk about is rosemary. Now we talked about putting basil in, in oil, rosemary in oil, absolutely terrific. Or you can take some white wine vinegar and stick it in, absolutely terrific. When buying this, it has to have that silvery look to it. And you'll know what rosemary is just by smelling it, it's absolutely terrific. Now another thing that you can do with, with rosemary is, because they're on these, it almost looks like a twig. So say you have a shish kebab, a piece of meat that you want to use rosemary, take the twig, leave it there, take some of the, uh, the uh, leaves off, and stick it right into the piece of meat, just like that. It, it makes a nice presentation, plus you're going to get all the rosemary right into the meat. It's absolutely terrific. The Italians have basil, the French have tarragon. <laughs> That's right, tarragon. Absolutely great. You can use this for meat, poultry, anything you want. Another thing with tarragon is you want to be careful with tarragon. Don't overuse it. Once you overuse it, what's going to happen with the tarragon is it's going to be, it's going to overtake you the dish that you're about to make. But I'm telling you, you smell it, it's absolutely terrific. Dill. Now, most of these herbs that you see, you can use for cooking and you can use them fresh. Dill, basically, you don't want to use for cooking. You basically want to use the dill for fresh. Try to buy the dill with the roots on. At Stu Leonard's, we always have them with the roots on, but most of the time, you're going to see them in the stores, sometimes without, sometimes with. If you see an item, an herb, with the roots on, it's going to last a heck of a lot longer. With dill. You want to make sure that it's nice and springy. You want to make sure it's nice and green. You also don't want to make sure, you want to make sure that it doesn't yellow up. Another thing that you want to do with dill is smell it. If it's got that fresh smell, dill is great. Cucumber salad, potato salad, chicken salad. Take a few sprigs, put it on top. Absolutely terrific. Curly parsley. Curly parsley, same thing. People say, oh, I got too much curly parsley. Well, I told you what to do with it. Chop it up, put it in a little uh, in those ice cube trays and you can keep it from six months you can keep it for. Same thing holds true. You want to make sure that it's a nice tight bunch. You want to look at the bottom, on, on the bottom, make sure that, it, that the stalks on it aren't too big. And always use your nose when picking basil or picking any kind of uh, uh, herb. If you smell it and it smells fresh, it's going to be fresh. Now this always gets confused with this. This is Italian parsley. This is what we call coriander or Chinese uh, parsley, but this is Italian parsley. This is the parsley that you want to use when making some meatballs. Mom always used Italian parsley. It's got a really rich flavor and it's really, really good. Mint is another thing. There's about 20 different varieties of mint, but most of the time in the stores you're going to see spearmint and peppermint. Most of the time you see the spearmint variety, which is this. You know what it is just by smelling it. This is great for your iced tea during the, the, the uh, summer. It's great for if you like to make uh, any kind of a drink. It's very, very good for your drink. And I'm going to tell you a really quick little recipe. In the summertime, you take yourself some green squash because it's abundant and it's cheap. And you slice it very, very thin. You fry it in a little olive oil and a little garlic, and you add mint. That's right, the secret ingredient, mint. And I'm telling you, you've never had zucchini like that in your life. It's absolutely terrific. Like I said before, all these herbs can be used year-round. You can use them anytime you want. You can stick them in oil. You can freeze them. You can stick them in, in, in uh, any kind of vinegar. And I'm telling you, absolutely terrific. I'm Produce Pete reminding you, if you eat right, you're going to live right.